Hi friends. Today I have a story for you and it's called Hair Like Mine. Oh, the cover's a little shiny. You can see the reflection <laughs> in her face. This book is by Latasha M. Perry. Hair Like Mine. Hmm. Do you know anybody who has hair like yours? Maybe someone in your family? Hair like mine. I know some people with hair the same color as mine, but it doesn't look exactly like mine. This little girl is saying, Mama, I've been searching and I can't find anyone with hair like mine. Hmm. She's looking around. Her mommy said, well, honey, that's because no two people are the same. Everyone has different hair, nose, eyes, and toes. Everyone. Hmm. Did you notice that? This little girl says, I thought, what about Gabby and Mackenzie? They look the same. Here's what they look like. Well, maybe not exactly the same. Gabby's face is round and her hair is wavy and brown. So I guess she's right about them. They're not exactly alike. But what about Cameron and Aaliyah? They look the same. Do they look the same? Well, they do have a different frame. Aaliyah is tall and Cameron is very small. So they're not exactly the same. Hmm. She's starting to notice differences, right? Okay, she got me there. I'm, but I'm sure this can't be right. No two people are exactly alike. Hmm. She's thinking there must be someone who is very, very similar to somebody else. So she went to school and she decided to investigate. I searched all around. I was sure I would find someone with hair like mine. I only found no two people are the same. Everyone has different hair, nose, eyes, and toes. Maybe you don't get to see your friend's toes very often if they're in shoes, but it's true. Nobody has exactly the same body parts as anybody else. Then I saw twins, Adam and Aaron, and they look exactly the same. In fact, it was hard to tell them apart. Sometimes twins look different from each other, but sometimes they look very much alike. Let's take a closer look. The closer I got, I could see that it's true. Even twins can be different too. Aaron has hazel colored eyes and a few freckles around his nose. Their hair was nothing alike and they even have different toes. They're wearing sandals so you could get a close-up view. So even twins aren't really exactly alike. How could this be? Even twins aren't the same? This is all completely insane. I felt defeated. I told Mama she was right. Not a single person was the same. Not one in sight. She really thought that she was going to find someone who looked like her. I tried to find someone with hair like mine. I was sure that I could. I don't like being different. It doesn't feel good. My hair is curly and really frizzy too. It shrinks up way high. This hair just won't do. Hmm. She's kind of wishing her hair was different. Her mama said, 
Honey, I told you no two people are the same. Everyone has different hair, nose, eyes, and toes. Hmm. Even you and I are different, you see. My hair is a lot more curly. We are different shades of brown, and your eyes are a bit more round. You have a little button nose, and look at your feet. Those are your father's toes. Hmm. So the mommy is saying, hey, we're in the same family. You even grew in my belly, but we don't look exactly the same. I know it's hard to understand now, but just wait. You'll see how amazing being different can be. There's no one in the world quite like you. You're unique and beautiful. As I laid in bed that night, I thought, maybe she's right. It's kind of cool to know there's only one me in sight. I love my skin, my nose, my eyes and toes, and this hair of mine. I like it just fine. And that's the whole story. She changed her mind about wanting someone to look exactly like her. I don't know anybody who looks exactly like me. Do you know anyone who looks exactly like you? Maybe there are some things that are the same and some things that are different. I know the people that I love the most are pretty different than me. And there's things about them that I think are beautiful. And then there's things about me that they think are beautiful. When you love someone, you think that they're beautiful and hopefully you love yourself because you are the most important person for you and your mom, right? <sighs> I'm really glad you were here for story. I'll see you again the next time. We'll read something good. Okay. See you then. Bye.